guys. We're at the 2019 uh, Pell Beach Concourse d'Elegance. So there's already a lot of people here. Let's go see if we can check out a few cars. Incredible Bugattis. Coming to the Bentley yeah. Centennial class. Yeah, yeah, that is right. Three liters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Previous years, this had been pretty quiet at this point in the morning, but now it's jam packed here. Apparently, everybody has YouTube. Yeah. A YouTube channel. Yeah, apparently. Excuse that. Wow, look at these. Just incredible. These oh, we saw typical uh, Model A's. Look we saw that. this Bentley. Yeah, that was a Just yesterday at Lemon. Pretty awesome to see it we, out we on the concourse. That one. Yeah. The judges thought it was fake. Yeah. Like, Apparently not. Apparently not. Wow, that's the most Bentleys you're going to see in one spot, probably. Insane. If you're just joining in, we're at the Concourse de Elegance 2019 Pebble Beach. This here is the look at Centennial. Look at the on that bad boy. Yeah, look at that. The Centennial of, of Bentley, I believe. Some of these cars probably have a cool history, too. It, oh, I'm sure. We, we have haven't book, read about them yet, yeah, but we have the books. Hey, that's owned by Ralph Lauren. That's cool. Oh, wow. Supercharged Bentley. <laughs> well, that thing's cool. Look at the uh, nickname on that. <laughs> that Double 12, awesome. six hours race, Irish Grand Prix. Machine. Yep. We have Talbot Lagos. Guess we should have been here when they were doing the judging this morning. Maybe then it would have been quiet. More Bentleys. Yeah, slept too much. That's all right, though. So we're really excited for the hot rod, the hot rods that are going to be here, because that's going to kind of stand out. <laughs> yeah. With all these fancy original cars. Wow. I mean, these are like factory hot rods. So. Oh yeah. If you've never attended the the Concourse de or de Elegance, almost said Le Mans, at uh. Pebble Beach. It's quite the experience. Some incredible cars. But apparently it's becoming more and more popular. Holy cow. Oh, look at that. That Bentley. Cool. Hey Robert, we don't know if, if Wayne Carini's here. There's a good chance he is. We saw him yesterday. We saw him yesterday. I know that Dennis Collins is going to be here from Fast and Loud. We talked to we talked Mangus to Mangus Walker. Walker last night. He's going to try to sneak in to this. Apparently, he snuck in last year, so we'll see if he gets in. Maybe he didn't want you to tell people that. Yeah, well, what's he going to do? I doubt he actually snuck in. It would have been tough. They kept checking our bracelets. Oh no, man! Oh wow. Lamborghini Miras. Just a class for them this year. Just a few. Just a few. That's a lot of Miras. Okay, well, we're making our way towards the hot rod for us. That, that uh, silver Porsche over there that was, has the crazy body, that was on the street last night. Someone yeah. drove it to dinner. We're going to have to go look at that closer here in a sec, but let's. Let's find those hot rods. I don't see them, dude. Where are they at? Oh, there they are. Oh, wow. Oh, man. 
Oh, yeah. That's where we're going to be <laughs> making our way over there to see the hot rods. Oh, yeah. Here's some Ferraris that are worth more than most houses. Yep. Oh, some more Bentleys. Oh, yeah. Let's pan here real quick. These are more your cruiser Bentleys, right? Yeah, these are your touring Bentleys. With the roof on them? Yeah. These are the Centennial 8 liter cars coming up here. Jeez. That is a, that is a big engine. Ooh, man, we got 8 liter Bentleys over here and then we got racing Ferraris over here. Ferrero Panamericana. Mexico. Mexico. That is some history right there. If you there. haven't read about that race, look it up. It's pretty cool history. Hi Keith, this is live. If you guys see any cars you want us to take a closer look at, just let us know in the comments and we'll go take a peek at it. Okay, let's swing around the field here. Oh, man. Oh, the Zagatos. Pre-war Centennial. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, it's his Alpha. I believe. Nice. Okay, let's go over the hot rods. We can go look at the Zagatos more later. Look at that. Oh yeah, we're going for the classic Americana over here. Here we go. Look at that. Hey, thanks David, the weather is great. Nice and cool this morning. There we go. Hot rod cover cars. Pretty incredible to see on the fields. Pebble Beach. Hey Blake, there are a few barn finds this year on uh, on the field here at Pebble Beach. We haven't gotten to them yet. There's but preservation. Class there's the preservation class now. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I don't know any of you remember. Yeah, any of you remember seeing this car on the cover of Carcraft magazine? Back in 1960. <laughs> Fiberglass Roadster. That was cool. Yeah, that black car is just incredible. We can go look at that closer here in a sec. Let me take a look at this American Special. Uh, so, how did you um, come to do more Oh, wow. Okay, one of the readers wanted to see us a closer look at this hot rod over here. Incredible. Now all the kids are here. You want me to just watch like supervise? Yeah, point, point. More pointy. That's all right. More point. Good point. Yeah, it looks like it is. This guy's got a removable hard top, appears. Look at that in interior. That is cool. Cool. Ready? Yeah, let's What's 32 Ford Bob Morris Nickel Roadster? 
a, it's a nick, it's the nickel roadster. 1932 Ford. No, I stand on my toes though. Nickel. He got my shot. Okay. Yep. Look, hang on, guys. One yep, more. The nickel finish right. on the grill and the parts. Look right up here. Big smile. Very cool. Okay, let's move on. Thank you. That's got it. Rod and customs. All right, if you're just tuning in, we're at Pebble Beach, the Concourse d'Elegance, looking at the Hot Rod class, the cover cars. And we have one under wraps here, they've yet to uncover. Is that the... That's Tweety Bird. Oh, that's Tweety Bird, okay. Isn't that one of the earliest? One of the early ones. One of the early Hot Rods. This one was on the cover in 1952. Wow, 1952 cover car. <laughs> that Eddie Dye Roadster. That's crazy. That, that it is awesome. Like that in 1952. I'm sure it's been restored, but yeah. Well, what an amazing machine. What a cool build. What? That was on the cover of what? The SCTA 1948. 1948 hot rod. Wow. That's cool. From Barrage Time Trials. That is cool. All right. Well, they're waiting. Done. We're waiting for this to be uncovered. We don't know what this is. Oh yeah. No, this is the Tweety Bird, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> There's a classic hot rod. Look at that. Got a blown big block. Talk about some exhaust headers. This is the Feel Cool Roadster. Feel Cool Roadster, huh? Wasn't that one back there? Ed Roth, the outlaw, that fiberglass thing? Yeah, that was an Ed Roth, I believe. Wow, this thing's cool. That is. Still got the rumble seat in it. What was that? It was on Hot Rod in 1978. Yeah, 78 cover car. Wow. 32. Oh, it looks like it might be original too. Like, yeah, it hasn't probably been. Hasn't been restored. I mean, the only way last. Okay, let's look at those end ones. They're very. Yeah, these are really cool. These are. These are some really of the T box. Cool right if you know your hot rod history, these are some significant cars. <laughs> so we got the Norm Grabowski cookie car over there, and the Tommy Evo Roadster pickup. And I guess uh, this one was built after the guy looked at the other one and oh, wanted yeah. to yeah. make something similar. Look at those tires. Good morning, Mark. Bright and early out here at Pebble. <laughs> These were when they actually built cars out of like junkyard stuff. They yeah. find parts and you could still find stuff, right? Oh, yeah. In 1957, when this was on Hot Rod. On Dutch. That. How would you like to find that in a barn, huh? Yeah, that'd be pretty amazing, huh? Just look at the old slicks on it. That's cool to see that here. Yeah, that's so really this awesome. One, probably my favorite. This one's really famous, been on TV shows, movies. The guy who owned it kind of got famous because of the car. He was yeah. on Disney movies and stuff. Yeah. Look at that. 
I think he was on the cover of like Life magazine or Time magazine or something. Something like that. Kind of made it famous too. Check out See that. This is Skullcraft 1957. Yeah, the Skull Shifter Skull. Look at it, it's just like how it was in 57 too. Yeah, that is awesome. Oh my god. Wow, look at that. That is just amazing. Awesome piece of automotive history. Well, should we find some uh, preservation? Here, someone wants to look, have a closer look at the carbs here, real quick. Look at that setup. What do you think, Steve? Copper tubing. That's cool. Okay, we're moving on. Wow, that was that was awesome. Depends on real life. Yeah, I've seen photos a lot. But yeah, I've seen lots of photos of those cars. But okay, let's go find some junky barn finds. Yeah, let's go look at the preservation class. I think we actually just stumbled upon it right here. Oh, it looks. I see rust on the bumper. Yep. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Let's see. What is this? Yeah. Yeah, come check out the interior. Let's go have a look at the ins inside of this one. Oh, yeah. Preservation right there. Wow. Yeah, you can smell it. Yeah, it smells bad. It's relative. That's true. Yeah, it doesn't smell too bad. It doesn't smell too moldy. These are judged on... Wrap crap and Yeah. How many animals they dug out of it, maybe? Get extra points? I know. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah, we need the small guides. Yeah. 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 It's been stripped down. That's pretty cool. Got the hubcaps and the windshield and bumpers. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, they, they have a, looks like a roll bar, a big book of information on its history. Oh, look at the, the plaques on the dash. Oh, wow. Races in the 50s. Relax, but hurry. Watkins. Must have huh? must have raced it quite a lot. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. Some pretty cool history on that one. Yeah. Please find sir. Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at that Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. Still looking at the preservation class here at Pebble. Post-war. Post-war, yep. Post-war preservation. We'll make our way over to pre-war here in a minute. Yeah, those are the... Well, I mean, this is pretty cool. Look at that. What in the world is happening? We gotta look at this. Look at that steering wheel. Whoa, what is what happening? Is up with that. <laughs> look at that, that's so crazy. Wow, that is cool. It also has an altimeter. Now light swallow. There's, there's so much information that we found these and featured we featured a few of these yeah it's very cool yeah. oh wow Aston Martin 
Vantage. Okay, oh, here we go. This is the cool stuff. Pre war. Oh, we need that. Preservation. Just grab one. Well, I think those are somebody else's. Oh. But they're not ones over at the. But there's ones over at the cafe. Good job, Joel. Thank Calling the Allied. Thing was cool. The Lucite steering wheel. Look at that. 1907 Renault preservation class. Looks like maybe it's had some touch ups, huh? Well, it's, from 1907. it's true, it's true. Look at that. Look at that. It just means you don't fix the big cracks. Yeah, the they don't fix the cracks in the wood. In the wooden body. I bet it smells good in there. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. It smells a bit like a funeral home. Okay, moving on to the preservation class. Pre war preservation class. Yeah, it looks like they've been converted to electric. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Let's take a look in this beauty, though. Don't turn them on. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Where? Straight ahead. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, there we go. 33 Cadillac. That is awesome. Good morning. 33 Cadillac. Still got its California plates on it. From 1933. Look at this. They want you to enjoy them, but the rule is look, but don't touch. Enjoy these Don't touch it. <laughs> See, it kind of smells bad. Might have to go over and talk to Wayne Carini real quick. Look, you can duct tape this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at this nice feature. That's awesome. Nice duct tape. I like it. That's how we would roll. This is all weather. Well, let's see what do we got over here. Packard. 30 family hauler. Twin six. It's like a station wagon. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, that gold building. Look at that. That's, that's what I was doing. Here. That's what I was doing up here. Hey, look at the tires on this thing. Look at the back tire. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. We make a big deal when we pump up a part from the 70s. But yeah, with original tires. Look at that. Well, it might not be original. Yeah, probably not. I like the cowhide. It's awesome. Go for it. a horse hide. Horse, horse hide, wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's way cooler. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at the back window. Folds up so you can get airflow through there. Oh, wow. Also features uh, an electric starter, which is electric pad, electric starter. Yeah, they, 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 they want to make sure you didn't go crank it. Exactly. It, 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 it,
We'll look back down the field there. Okay. Isn't that 33 rolls? Just incredible. Incredibly stately. Let's see what we have here in preservation. This one, another Packard. 1918. 335 Twin Six. <clears throat> oh, it's just incredible. Isn't it sure amazing to see these unrestored preservation class cars? Just awesome. It's a fairly recent thing for him to even allow these on the field. <laughs> Agreed, Steve. Obviously, sometimes cars have to be restored if they're too rusty or damaged, but cars like this, they just need to be preserved. Are supporting us as hospitality hosts. <laughs> Field hosts. Okay, let's see if Jesse got the uh, guide here, the small guide. This is one of only 10 Riviera Town Cars bodied by Brewster. Wow. I'm standing here. One of 10. <clears throat> that is amazing. Imagine getting hauled around in this. That is a ring light. Steven's Dury this year. Huh. Wow. That is cool. Do you have the info on this one? Oh, let's see. Because this is one you probably never will see again. Yeah, I won't ask you. 1914 Pathfinder. Um, it was purchased by Theodore Holtdorf in 1946 after it was found in the backyard of a home in Illinois. It's put in a rented basement and they stirred the engine once in a while and stayed in touch for 64 years. Wow. They were built in Indianapolis between 1912 and 1917. Just a handful exists today. Uh, you know, has has both electric and kerosene lamps. Four mounted lever acting as the gas pedal that the driver slides with his foot. The original tires that. were replaced in 1918. Wow. And those tires are still on the. It's the riding on a hundred year old tires. That's awesome. Holy cow! That is incredible. So that was a serious barn find. Right? Oh yeah, dude. It was a backyard find and then a basement find. That's cool. Very cool. Is this yours? I'm representing it. You're representing okay. it? Cool. Very cool. So we heard that's horse hair. Lexus welcomes So how often do you have to put air in the tires to keep them? Lexus is excited Those two to have on display the all These two leaked down after a couple of days. Which yeah. is oh, I'm surprised they held that one. That's amazing. Incredible. The LC convertible will offer all the so cool. and sophistication. Awesome. Got the original original LC 70s. <laughs> and 80s. And open air experience that only a true convertible can be oh, Look at that. I bet that's the original Lexus spare right there. Enjoy hand-packed cocktails, experience Lexus performance in virtual reality, and view the stunning Lexus LC convertible along with the luxurious LS sedan, 
and that is really cool. Array of SUVs Very cool. And crossovers. So after this event, Cheers to an amazing these. day. We'll take these off. We've got new wheels and tires that are being made, um, so these can be preserved in this state because, quite frankly, they're really cool. Yeah, they are really, no, they're really cool. Um, That's one of the coolest features of the car, I think. Yeah. So. And then uh, that way we can use it because it does run and drive. She leaks and she smokes, but. Wow. 105, so that's yeah, that's acceptable. acceptable. <laughs> yeah, no kid. Very cool. Yeah. Well, awesome. We we run uh, the website barnfinds.com, so this okay. is like right up our alley. So cool. very cool to see it. Awesome. Well, All right. Thanks. Well, thank you for your time. So that could be the coolest for our kind of. Well, they open the uh, <coughs> engine cover on the. Packard. Look at that. So this was parked in the garage for 48 years. This one's a garage find. There was actually some of the cars on the It's kind of in the same family for a long time. So it's a 12 cylinder in Yep, it's a twin six. 1916 Packard. Yep. Did you notice on it that other car the steering wheel was on the other side? Yeah. It was a U.S. car. Yeah. That was crazy. Maybe back then? They didn't, didn't, care. They didn't care. The road system wasn't as developed. It smells like an antique store in there. That's not what I thought. <laughs> so a 1933 Cadillac. Fleetwood, all weather. All weather, huh? Wow. Cold weather, you can see it's been in the weather. Yeah, it's, it's been in the weather a lot. Maybe wax oil? I don't know what that is. Some type of rust converter. Maybe. Maybe. real here. It was owned by Find out more AK Armor of Meatpacking Company. A second owner stored it in his basement for 50 years. Oh, man. It was rediscovered in 2018. First time the car has been showed in the public since the 60s. Wow. Cool. That is very, very cool. Out of Danville, so California. Basement. Yeah. That's so cool. Good use for your guys' basements. Yeah. We need more of you to be stashing your cars in your basement. So we can find, find them, them in, in the future. So what's the deal with the, the Rolls? Rolls Royce Silver Ghost. Let me see. It was first sold to oil tycoon C.C. Julian in L.A., but was then acquired by Warner Brothers. Oh, wow. And it was in a number of movies, including British Intelligence. Never seen that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Before my day. Eddie Meyer bought it, and they kept it until their current owners bought it in 2015. Okay. It has 22,000 miles. Wow. That's super cool. I don't know, I think people are probably ready to go see these these exotics here. Let's go take a look at these uh, this Ford GT40. Sebring. So, uh, very, very short history of racetrack. Man, just incredible to see all these. Anyone guess what that is? Turbine Experimental. Cool, that'd be fun to drive Yeah, around. turbine engine. Wow, oh, they started up the uh, preservation uh, Aston Martin Vantage. Yeah, it is. 
Jr. Ha, ha. You played tennis. <laughs> he tries. He tries. I'm sure if you want to get white short. Right. Short, short, short. I wonder how good they have to roll. Probably just have to run a little bit. I would imagine just need to run on the field. Maybe, maybe someday you'll see us here. Yeah, with some type of beater. Over there. Post-war. Yeah. I don't know. Post-war Fiat. Yeah, there we go. 124 Spider. I don't think that's preservation, though. Right. To fully restore it. 1970. In like 40 years it might be. Yeah. Maybe when if it's the only years. one that's not rotted away. Yeah, we're super old. The rest will have rusted away. Wearing tweed jackets. Look at these mirrors, guys. This is crazy. Look at the eyelashes on those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. That's oh, yeah. just too cool. I like the wing. Yeah, dude. That one's a raced out one. It's awesome. It's the story on this car. SVR Coupe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got people watching. Let's see what we got over here. It's Mercedes. Look at that one. That is cool. Looks like an army truck on the back and like a yeah. All right, guys. So it's like engine turned. That's cool. Oh wow, that's <clears> really <throat> cool. So let us know in the comments, out of the cars that we've looked at so far, what your favorites are. Personally, I'm still digging the hot rods. I think there were more. Or were there more free ones? No, no that, that was there. the end of the preservation class there. Look at this thing. How'd you like to go for a ride in that? Look at that. Genesis is proud to be at the Pebble Beach Concours for the fourth year. Please visit the concept mall and see the Genesis wow. Mint concept. A new typology. SSKL Streamliner. Accessory for the modern Race, they raced in 1932 and won. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum has been privileged to be associated with the Concours since 1994. Wow. Okay. Well, was there anything you guys wanted to take a closer look at? What your favorites were? Right here is four of them. I don't know. I think some of those basement finds. Are yeah, some of those basement finds are pretty incredible. I don't know. These brushed these cars were probably bodies are pretty incredible. Barn finds at one point. Oh, I'm sure. People just did fancy restorations. Mark agreed. They're all pretty dang cool. Pretty amazing. Yeah, I think well, they're running this one. Any of these cars. Oh yeah, this one's out of Oregon, 1928 <laughs> Oregon plate. They've got it running super quiet. Wow, that is just amazing. Phil, that was a helmet uh, jet car, well, once again, I don't like race car. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Phil's really filling up now. People, this is just the media. I know. Yeah, no, it's not just media. <clears throat> Which one would you want to get chauffeured in? Oh man, I don't know. Packers are, are pretty incredible. Yeah, look at some of these. James wants to see more hot rods. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame five. you. There's only five this year. Although some of these cards are painted to look like, kind of look like hot rods. Look at that ridiculous paint scheme. That's cool. It's awesome. Kind 
rods. They got I know. Big, yeah, a lot of these are big engines. factory built hot rods. Look at this. That is freaking crazy. <laughs> Pinstripe. <laughs> Is this? Oh. Where are you based out of? It's a Willie's. Oh, wow. Willie's yeah, Willie's Nine. Nine. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> There's more than we can see here. I know. It's just insane. Oh, what do we got over here? No. American Classic Open Cars. It's like a stretched out Nash It does. It's like an enlarged Nash. That is awesome. Yeah. Thunderbolt. It's a Chrysler Thunderbolt. I've never seen another one of those again. I like it. It's so cool. All right, we can go take a look at that blue and white Ferrari here in a minute. This is so cool. The crowd here. Yeah, do you see it? Do you see Nashville stretched out? Yeah, it really I do. A very bulbous rear though. <laughs> That's, I don't know. It's the owner over there though. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cars, so it looks like it was this one. That's why it was kind of interesting. And also 12 volt batteries. And he said it was a 12 volt electric system as well. Yeah. Wow. Thunderbolt. That's so cool. No. Okay. It's kind of show car. Yeah. What, what Ferrari is it? Uh, it's one of the, I believe it's one of the race cars. Oh, there's just so many amazing cars. It's just incredible. Oh no, the sun's out. Ah. It's a blue and white Ferrari. Let's go find it. These are American cars. Maybe there's something over there? Yeah, at least so. It's over. Let's go through here real quick and go past these. Packers. Yeah. Man. Kind of a cool day with those. Bentley, yeah, the Bentley's off in the water. That's just so cool. That Aston Martin looks like a little hot rod. Yeah, look at that. That is so cool. The sunroof on that. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I mean, I don't normally like sunroofs, but that's no. cool. Didn't we see an orange one last, was it? Last year or the year, but the year before that we came, yeah. on the road, oh, driving yeah. on the street, yeah. Oh, look at this car set up. It's awesome. I'm pulling out the tourniquator. Okay. Let's find this Ferrari. Girl didn't look happy with her parents that made her dress up. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
Also das, das reicht mir dann auch. Das ist ja. für mich schon. Oh man, look at this Bentley. Wow. That's cool looking. Without bisschen live gold is diamond grill. Wow. This is ridiculous. And more Bentleys. And more. So many Bentleys. More. Holy moly. We got this one running. No, super smooth. Okay, we're coming up to some of the race cars again here, guys. Some requests. We'll look at. That Bentley kind of looks like a. I don't know. It doesn't look like a Bentley. No, it does not. Like a Studebaker and a Mercedes were crossed. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get something at the. Uh, oh yeah, the silver car is the one we saw like driving around last. Oh yeah, yeah. We need to talk about that. So we actually saw this. Uh, I believe it's an Abarth. Is it an Abarth Porsche? Or is it a? We saw it on the street last night. Just driving around. Well, it was parked to like. Yep, it's a Porsche Carrera Abarth GTO. Wow. My shop is good for certain things, but I don't have them. Oh, it is. The ceiling out car? Because I know he has one of these. Just awesome to see something like this actually on the street. It's crazy. That is cool. Okay, moving on here. Seattle. Torino. It's all raced out. Yeah. Known for his understated elegance and streamlined silhouettes, he has dressed a coterie of stylish celebrities. Tavo Lago. Virginia Madsen, Sharon Stone, Felicity Huffman, and former First Lady Michelle Obama. And. Yep, helmet. We'll go look at that on the way back out. Look at this, though. Fantuzzi sports racer. Hi, Phil. No, the, the TX is the helmet. Helmet TX. It's a turbine car. Well, the Ambrosini brothers in Seattle. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. Very cool. Now these are going to be a crowd favorite today. I'm glad we got in here early. Yeah, let's. We've got the book now. So we can, oh, they got the yellow one out now. Okay, we got to take a look at that. If you're a fan of hot rods, this is the year to be at Pebble. Okay, let's go look at Tweety Bird. This was featured on Hot Rod, in Hot Rod in 1958. He started, the guy started building it in 1951, when he was 15 years old. Wow. He bought a bare body, a frame, and collected all the parts needed. It has a Cadillac V8 in it. Oh, cool.
put Sweetie Bird in there. Oh, yeah. Hi, Andy. Yep, all of these cars are actual hot rod cover cars. Not necessarily hot rod magazines, but just various hot rod cover cars in various magazines from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Some of these, might have been before. Some of these were before Hot Rod Magazine existed. You ladies look wonderful. Okay, now they got around the crowd, I can get the other side, wider view of Tweety. Hi, Eric. I'm glad you could join us from the UK. That's awesome. We're glad that we can be here with some of our our followers see these cars. You might not get to see them otherwise, so it's pretty amazing. Oh, let's see what is oh, Wayne Green, you just cut me off. That's a great idea. So did you it hasn't run yet. We just finished the installation. I had to find a magician to make a shaft strong enough that was this small a size. They took a big one, inch and a quarter, and machined it down. Pretty cool, huh, Parker? And then, I'll tell you what, we, we found a couple of really great craftsmen. There's an 84 year old guy who yeah. had this from the old world in the 40s. Otherwise, we never would have made a lot of great craftsmen in helping us make things. And the chain drive. I sent him home yesterday. The the chain tension from an Alpha GTV. Well, you can take care of that. I They had a problem with this car. The chain kept breaking. I'm thinking because there was no provision for a chain tension. Yeah, it's got a supercharger that's piped off to the side back here, and then he's plumbing the air all the way up to it, and then you've got the chain drive. See you, Parker. About an hour. Yeah. We made the plenum. Okay. And we made the intake manifold from scratch. That is cool. Crazy. Okay, I think we had a request to look closer at this. Yeah, there's a model car built after this. Uh -huh. okay, that's kind of cool. Very cool. Do you want your photo with Link Rainey? Thank you. Good to see you guys. Hey, David. Sure. Noble Vines Wine is proud to sponsor the Concord Elegance. Hey, pretty good. I don't know if you remember us. The Okay, yeah, yeah. Good yeah. to see you. How are you doing? Good. 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 What do you think of the hot rods? Fabulous. Come on. Isn't that Enjoy awesome to see them here? I've, I've known this car since Chardonnay. I was a kid. Yeah. Going to all the autoramas. Uh -huh. Ed Roth used to bring, bring like five, six of his cars. My favorite back then was Surf Fight. Mm -hmm. The little thing that carried the surfboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that was cool. Yeah, that's awesome. But this has always been a favorite. Yeah, this is such such a cool car. You know Howard Von uh, no. I don't know who Studio owns this now. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's well, it's part of the Peter Peterson Automotive yeah. Museum in Los Angeles. Yeah. For every room of your home, each commission is wow. handmade from sustainable materials, <clears throat> and every Studio Becker product is yeah, yeah. a result of meticulous attention to detail at every step. With a commitment to All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap up here. We might come out with some more streams later today, but thanks for joining us. Leave any cards you'd like to see more video or photos of in the comments and we'll, we'll get back to you. Thanks.